Hey everybody, welcome back to Easy Cooking with Gary. Today is college football championship game day. Tonight the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Georgia Bulldogs are going to be playing. So today I'm making a little appetizer so we can enjoy it tonight during the game. And I'm making jalapeno cheese beer bread. It has just three really simple ingredients. Self-rising flour, a can of beer, and three tablespoons or roughly a quarter cup of sugar but I'm going to jazz mine up some with some jalapenos and some cheese. So let's get started on it. First of all, I got three cups of self-rising flour. To that, I've got a three tablespoons, which about a quarter cup of sugar. I'm going to put that in there. And I also I'm going to put one teaspoon of my garlic jalapeno seasoning in it. Now let me get that quick stir. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and dump some, I got a quarter, about a quarter cup of uh, jalapenos diced up, pickled jalapenos. And I've got a cup of uh, cheese. It's a Mexican cheese blend. I'm gonna put that in there. Now I've got one can of beer. Now this beer has yeast in it. That's what's gonna make the bread rise up and everything. Now, the alcohol will cook out of it so it's safe for kids or anybody to to eat it. You can actually see it foaming up and it's interacting with the, the baking powder and stuff that's in the flour. And yeast is always activated by sugar too. I've got a loaf pan that I've already greased. And when I get this all mixed together, I'm gonna put it in that. It makes it pretty sticky. I'm going to put it in this loaf pan that I've already greased up. This is going into a 375 degree oven and it's going to cook roughly an hour, 55 to 60 minutes. I'm going to have, when I take it out, I'm going to set it on a cooling rack and I'm going to pour melted butter over top of it. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, it's cooled off just a little bit, not a lot, because I want to eat it while it's warm. But look how it turned out perfectly. You can see it right there. What, look, it come right out of the pan, didn't stick. Look at the bottom of it. It's perfect. Let me cut it right down the middle here. And look at that right there. You can see bits of the cheese and jalapeno in there. Take one off the very end here. Look at that right there. Well, this is good to make you up some honey butter. Take a stick of butter, get it softened, and add maybe a quarter cup of honey to it. Mix it up, and that goes really good on it. Look at this. It's light, it's fluffy, it's not real dense like you would think it would be. There's the jalapenos. Look at that. Mm. I wish you could smell it. 
while it was baking, it, all the everything was coming together in it. Mm. That is really good. Now, if you don't like the cheese or jalapeno in it, you can just make the beer bread. Now, I tell you what's really good. You let this cook really good. You cut it in slices, and this makes one of the best grilled cheese sandwiches. Put some butter or mayonnaise on one side. Put it in a hot skillet. Put your cheese on there. Put the other one on other side on there, and they make it real good. Mm. This right here is good. They're going to love this tonight. We well, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like and a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't. So we'll talk to y'all later. Bye.